In this episode, I begin to add the pieces of the boat back together, starting with the second bed. You can see the template of the second bed being created using stir sticks and hot glue. As you can see, it flows smoothly with the rest of the boat, which includes the adjacent seat, the dining table, the cooler, and the V-berth. second bed will end right about halfway in from the upper deck seating. You can see it's kind of a tight squeeze back there but will allow for a lot of foot room as well as storage um, in the future. this time I start to check the fit of the second bed and grind off any miscalculations that I may find. Here I'm grinding a few high spots that are found in the bulkhead support for the second bed. I also go ahead and grind off the excess fiberglass that was used during the installation of this bulkhead. Oh, 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 oh,
Now, of course, the gaps aren't perfect, but I plan to fill a lot of this in with filler and epoxy to make everything a little bit more level. As you may be able to tell, the second bed's really only gonna work with the dining table down, which will extend into the adjacent seat and provide a pretty comfortable sleeping arrangement for one, maybe two people. I'm just trying to gauge exactly how the bed is going to look and the fit and feel of everything before I go and permanently epoxy everything in. A little bit later in the future, I actually don't get this on camera, but I add the supports for the dining table on both of the seats for the, the dining area and this provides a good support when you place the, the table down into the bed position. So the GoPro ended up running out of battery when I epoxied that second bed in, but the process is relatively the same from all the other scenarios. You can see here the lips for the dining table that I added on both of the seats, um, which allow great support for the dining table once it's put into the bed position. All in all, it came out fairly well and I'm happy with the result. Now I plan to use this Divinacell core for the top hatch of the storage area on the second bed seen here. Now I begin the task of fiberglassing and epoxying the Divinacell bilge core insert, which I use several layers of biaxial 1708 along with some epoxy filler and thickened high density filler to fill in all the gaps around the bilge which eventually make it uh, structurally sound and hard as a rock, which will allow the whole of the boat to hold the 900 pounds of keel. Once all the layers are cut and formed to shape, I start inserting the holes on several layers at a time of the fiberglass to make room for the nuts and the keel bolts that will come through um, and eventually be bolted down to the keel. making a few edits to the Divinacell core which is going to be placed down into the bilge there. You can see with the angle grinder I'm able to make the bevel cuts to help the core insert fit smoothly into the, the area that it's going to be placed in. 
Now you can see here the first layer of 1708 that I'm going to place into the bilge area. This will go down over the keel bolts coming out there, which I have taped off to prevent any epoxy from getting into the threads. Now once the first layer is placed into the bilge area, I then begin to fill it with more epoxy and high density filler to create a very strong bond between the layers. Once this is done, I then add the foam insert along with three to four layers of 1708. Once it's all said and done, it really creates a structurally rigid center line and support for the keel of the boat. So I'm starting to run out of daylight as I approach and near the ending of inserting this bilge support. I try to get as much of it on, on camera as I can, but uh, eventually the light runs out and I just have to work quickly. got done uh, painting the bilge and I accidentally forgot to record it. I've been doing that lately just because I've been so rushed for time that um, I've been super busy so every, any free moment I get I just start working on the boat um, and forget to record but we'll go in and take a look. It should be drying now. I'm going to try to do another coat later tonight. Um, but I, what I ended up doing was I prepped all the surface, took all the nuts off the keel, um, sanded, laid down the foam. I believe I got that on GoPro. Then three layers of 1708 on top of that. Um, you've probably by now seen the footage. As you may have noticed and I had mentioned in the previous clips, the tape over the nuts coming through from the keel were used to protect it from any of the epoxy or bilge paint from getting into the threads. Now you can see these bolts um, and washers that will be put on top of this and I eventually removed that tape and attached the keel bolts to the top and, and then tighten that to spec. While the nuts are off the keel, I have all the weight the boat, supported by these two jacks. Allowing me to take the nuts off and do work on the bilge. Tomorrow when that's all dry, I'm going to have to put the nuts back on. Uh, maybe I'll do another layer tonight and then let that dry and then put those nuts back on. So as I had mentioned before, I got pretty busy during the winter months and all my free time was really spent just working on the boat as much as possible and I had minimal time or actually forgot to record a lot of the stuff that I did. In that time you see there I created that template for the galley frame as well as uh, traced it out here on that plywood I'm about to cut.
go along with the galley frame that was created in the previous clip was also the bulkhead you see here that I just laid down. That curvature matches the curve of the hole and will allow me to adhere and epoxy the galley frame to the, the hole of the boat with support on each side. In the upcoming sequence, you'll see exactly how it fits in reference to the main bulkhead that Ryan and I had installed in episode 3. In theory, it will really relieve a lot of the stresses and twists that the hole is going to see when underway. Once this piece is laid out here, it really adds a new dynamic to the whole boat. I start to see things in a whole different way and really get a feel for how the boat is going to be underway and, and where things are going to be placed. Um, you can see here, I spend quite a bit of time analyzing and looking at where I want to put um, either the sink or the burner. Um, I'm just sitting here trying to find the most comfortable location to put things inside the boat. Um, you can see here the five gallon jug. I plan to rest right there and that'll be used for drinking water. I really let my imagination run wild and, and start to study everything and see every angle and figure out where I want to put the rest of the boat. It's really amazing feeling once you see things start to come together like this. start the process of sealing the marine grade plywood as well as adding a few layers of fiberglass to the divina cell which I used for that corner bulkhead. This will further enhance the waterproof and the structural strength of the entire boat. So that's it for episode 8. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. Also stay tuned for the next episode where I fiberglass the remaining core and insert the galley frame.